What is going on, YouTube? Fascinating graveyard. Today, we are at the Dickinson Cemetery here in Dickinson, Texas. I stopped by here just to check this cemetery out. I had no plans on coming over here. Just randomly seen this off the side of that road right over there. So I thought I'd stop by and do a uh, quick tour of this cemetery. Uh, we're gonna check out uh, some of the graves here, but I want you to pay very, very close attention to one grave in particular. We're gonna go back in time. We're gonna go back to June 8th of 2008. At the time, 24 year old Justin James Wingo was pulling into a motel that was located on 2514 Hill Street here in Dickinson, Texas. He was driving a Toyota Tundra. Now, according to eyewitnesses, as soon as Justin pulled into the parking space, a small, dark vehicle pulled in right behind him and a young black male, not much of a description past that, jumps out of the vehicle and pulls out a gun on Mr. Wingo and demands his cash or his uh, items uh, of value. And Justin tell him, tells him, I don't have anything. And he shoots him several times. Justin falls and the man jumps into his Toyota Tundra and takes off with it with his uh, accomplice driving the small dark vehicle, which doesn't really have much of a description. By the time sheriff's deputies were called to the scene, uh, this man right here was pronounced dead. And now this uh, case has been unsolved for about, say, going on, what is it now, uh, 15 years. And don't have much of a description, just a, a young black male. And one of these uh, forgotten unsolved murders. But of course, you know, when I run into these situations, I, I never forget. So if anybody has any information on the unsolved murder of Justin James Wingo right here, please contact Galveston Crime Stoppers, area code 409-763-8477, or you can contact Detective Cox, 409-766-6110. Let's get some justice for this young man's family. This is Frank Galley. He was only 12 years old when he died on July 2nd, 1938. Uh, he was a delivery boy. I don't know if he delivered newspapers or he worked for a store, perhaps. Uh, he was born in Italy and came over here with his family. And he died in a bicycle accident. Uh, he fell from his bike uh, and hit his head. And uh, that is how he passed. This here is Mary Galley. I'm pretty sure somewhere along the lines they are related. I just don't know exactly how. Uh, she was born April 2nd, 1927. She died November 17th, 1948. Uh, she died of uh, difficulty uh, from her pregnancy. It wasn't preeclampsia that she died from. Uh, it was toxemia, but it was uh, due to her pregnancy. I don't know how far along she was at the time of her death. This is Charles Zenante, July 26, 1918 to October 3rd, 1937. He was a farmer for a living and he died of spinal meningitis. Okay guys, I am out of here. I am heading on to uh, greener pastures or hopefully at least cooler pastures. Just wanted to uh, do that quick video. I know there's not a whole lot of information about 
the unsolved murder of Justin James Wingo. But hopefully somebody out there knows something or maybe one day they can't sleep and they remember exactly who's the one that pulled the trigger that ended his life and uh, screw the reward. Maybe they want to come forward and just do the right thing. Again, if anybody has any information on his unsolved murder, contact Galveston Crime Stoppers 409-763-8477. Fascinating graveyard. Catch up with you later, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.